the uh, cranberry and pear chutney that's going to go in a little orange basket, just as sort of a little side condiment dish, whatever, right? Yeah, we offer two sauces for the chicken. Uh, one would be traditional uh, light gravy. The other one would be kind this of chutney. This is my little, I recycle my little uh, container for all my greens. Okay. He does his fingers like that. I can't, yeah, I don't do. How come some chefs do the knuckle thing? I find that's harder to control. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter as long yeah. as you don't have your fingers. Yeah, okay. make sure about the fingers not in the way. Yeah. I have to get me one of those dimple knives because especially for things like cucumbers and that anything that's wet tends yeah. to stick to like my big one, right? Do you happen to have a mixing bowl? I do. What's up? Just not too. Now we have cranberries. Send the sous chef and the cleaner up for you. Yes, chef. Yes, whatever, whatever he tells me to do. Yes, chef. Always wanted to say that. Well, I did once when I was in that restaurant, um, the Mustache Cafe, <laughs> with uh, Jeff, and, and we did like a surprise um, engagement dinner for my daughter and he actually gave me a chef jacket. I was in the kitchen, I think I was chopping mushrooms or something like that. That was fun. And then every, any time he said anything, I'd be, yes yeah, chef. So what we are going to do, we are okay. going to marinate the uh, cranberry okay. with uh, the red orange vinegar. Yes. yes. And I made this last night ahead of time and stuck it in the fridge. This is the blood orange vinaigrette and it's absolutely delicious. So I think you said about a third a cup, to say yeah. about a third of a cup. You can probably eyeball it, you don't need a measuring cup. Yeah, you haven't to have a I do. I'll look at that. I'll have a cup uh, measuring cup. So organized. I have a small machine. Okay, so you're you're just gonna marinate the cranberries. Yeah, because yeah, it's the pears are gonna top. stay. Yeah. Now they'll go brown if you don't cover them really. The well, you can toss them with a little bit of um, dressing as well. So, oh. can I have a spoon? Uh, Rick here. <laughs> Terrence does not want my kitchen yet. He will next time. He'll just be opening things up. So you're putting in about how much? Well, one per cup will be five yeah. tablespoons. Five tablespoons, right. I already said that. How do you know? I've never done this before. So I'm just doing a bit of a goofball with it, but hey. A little bit here, so okay. it doesn't get uh, oxidated. Okay. So you you would never put lemon or... You may. You can? You may, yeah. You can use lemon instead. Okay. So, just the lemon. Okay. And I think you said the marinade's what, half an hour? Well, 15 minutes. 15, 15 20, 20 minutes. minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Now what fascinates... Okay, do you need another one? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So it really depends. For a basket, well, that's, there will be a different way to do it. Mm. Let's see. Oh, you got one of those fancy things. Okay. Now, if somebody doesn't have that, it would be, you could do it with a knife, it would just be a little harder. going to make those spikes. I just wasn't sure how. Well, if we're going to do two plates, we need another orange, I think. No, I don't have another one. Oh, oh. red orange too. Yeah. Do you want regular orange? Oh, that's fine. I think I have two regular oranges. Don't 
take a shot of my butt water in the first minute. No, I have one. So this is a regular one. Obviously, you want to leave. Oh, you actually have a handle on the basket. Yep. <gasps> Fancy pants. Fancy pants. Look at that. I'll let you do the fancy stuff. You know what? I'm not even going to attempt that. <laughs> not today. Maybe next time. And if somebody was intimidated by that, they could just cut the orange oh, yeah. in, in maybe two-thirds and then with a paring knife, they could maybe just make some little... Well, we're going to fill all uh, well, those... Uh, okay, but there's no lot of room in there. Well, you can... You, you have a big light knife where you can uh, scoop out more. Okay. You can hold out this one. Okay. Why did you do that? I'm going to try something here. Where's my little paring knife? We'll see how creative I can be. Because I'm going to pretend that, well, I don't have one of these, so I can't do that. So, certainly don't need that over here. So, if I were to... You want to do one or two? One, one. basket? One. Oh, must well. If we do it this way, you get two baskets. Oh, okay. You want to get two baskets with uh, one orange. Oh, so you wouldn't cut it in half first. You would just, oh, there you go. Do your little triangle things, right? And then, oh, look at that, look at that. Now, if I wanted to scoop out a little yeah. more, I would just, I thought this knife was sharp. See, I'm not totally inept. Just to create a little bit more of a bed, right? Yep. You may want to clean it up. You're doing my cleanup, don't you have to say, yes, chef. No. <laughs> yes, home cook. Yes, my boy. Okay. Good. So, now we've got the, the fancy schmancy one, right? And then we've got the I'm just a home cook and I don't have those tools one. But, oh, that's lovely. Absolutely. Chop pears. And chopped cranberries. I had frozen cranberries. I just thawed them out. And uh, I think I put in about, what, two teaspoons of finely chopped shallots. Okay, and there was already vinaigrette on the cranberries and on the pears so they didn't brown. So I have to taste this. Mmm. Mmm. So you got a sweetness Very from nice. the pear. Mm -hmm. The tartness from the crackery. I love that blood orange uh, vinaigrette. Oh, so well, This nice. one we can uh, get away with uh, oil. Mm -hmm. Pardon? You can get away with uh, much oil. Yeah. Typically, well, for vinaigrette, you put quite a bit of um, even olive I oil. I use the champagne vinegar. I actually went and some beautiful champagne vinegar. So now we're just going to keep this because we're not going to put it in the baskets yet. No, yeah. So we're so just we're going to cover it. Excuse me. What we're also going to do right now, just get them ready. They are going on the dinner plate with the chicken. But I am going to put 
the salsa. Now, what was it that you said the difference between the salsa and uh, uh, chutney? Chutney is always cooked. Chutney is always cooked, and salsa isn't. So there you go. I didn't know that, so I just learned something. Oop. Now you just put a little bit. Yeah. I know you're down to get in there, but I'm going to do this. You can scoop some in your basket, if you like. There's a spoon here. Here. That looks absolutely awesome. Look at that. be tricky scooping it into the basket, but come on, in you get. So you just put a wee little bit in, like you don't want a lot, right? Okay. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So we'll set that aside. <laughs> 